In this video, you will see Julian and Alyssa trying to compute the derivative of these functions. As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. I remember like the derivative function being like, I'm pretty sure it's something like Have you seen this before? Um, kind of. I mean, in my class, it was basically the same, except for the change of x we had as h. So, I mean, I guess, like, notation-wise, it's different, but, like... Are they I, the same? I think they do the same thing, since it's still saying this term is, like, going to go towards, and this term are going to go towards zero, like, same thing with the h. Mm -hmm. Like they, like it, we could use either one. Yeah, I think okay. either one, because it's just it's just notation, I think. Okay. okay. So, so what's the first one? Uh, f of x equals four. Okay, so we have f of x equals four. So we have to plug the equation like. But there's no x. Yeah. So, like, I don't know what... I think if we do, like, the normal steps that we know, I think, because then it would end up being... So if we do moment h goes to zero, like, if we acted as if the h, like, because it's going towards zero, we'd end up getting something like that. And we can't do that. No. So I don't, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to do that one. Do you want to try the next one? Yeah, Maybe come back yeah, to it? Yeah, okay. I think that's a good idea. Um, okay, uh, so this one is g of x equals 2, 2x cubed minus 3x plus pi. Um, so, okay, put that in. Um, it's going to be a lot. So if we do... It's a lot. Um, I don't know. Like, I think there's going to be some extra terms yeah, in I there the that... the only things that you can do is, like, cancel off the pi, but then everything else is just left there, so I don't know what to do there. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely simplify, but I don't know. I don't think it, we're going to be able to get it down. That's what we need, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try the next yeah, let's, one? Yeah, let's go okay. to the next one. Okay, so we have... Sine x plus h. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I'm not. Because you can't, the, you can't cancel anything out. I don't know. Is there a way you know. to simplify these doing them? I don't think so. Because we can't leave, I mean, we can't leave our answer like, like that can't be the answer because we start like this. We have to be able to cancel out the h. Yeah. I guess that one might not work either. In this video, Julian and Alyssa tried using the limit definition of derivative to compute three derivatives, but ran into several difficulties. We'll explore how to compute derivatives of many types of functions in upcoming videos.